Well, good morning. It is a Monday morning and taking my Monday stroll through my garden and I'm gonna give you guys a little show of what's going on. So I am really excited. Really excited. Wait till I show you guys this. I'm not picking it yet because I gotta show my daughter who is gonna be like totally, totally excited. This is, look at this squash plant. I've never gotten one to grow this big. And look what's hiding. Can, oh my God, can you see it? Can you, oh, you can't. Oh, I hate touching squash plants because guess what? It, it gives me, oh, look at it. Look at it. Oh my God, I can't get a good picture, but there's a squash in there. Look at that squash. I'm so excited. I totally, totally pruned back my um, sweet potato plant. I don't know if I can, but you know what? Like I said, I don't know if it's gonna grow. My eggplants, man, I wish someone actually watched this channel because I could really use some advice on these eggplants. Oh, maybe, let me sure I don't step over there. There's a wasp. These are getting, no matter what I spray them with, no matter what I do, they are riddled with what I'm supposing is flea beetles. It keeps growing and every time it grows, something comes and eats it. This, this corn right here needs a little help standing up straight. Oy. My corn's coming in. My leeks. My leeks are mostly dying. My Swiss chard is mostly dying. These are my bush beans. And they're coming in. I don't know what's going on with scarlet runner beans. Whatever. Okay. So I got some zucchini in here. And this is another scarlet runner bean. And some zucchini in there. My strawberries okay. And then I put I put a shade cloth over my tomatoes because I went in there and severely pruned them back the, the, yesterday and um, realized I pruned them back way too much and I was afraid they were gonna get sunburned so I put the shade cloth over them. Look at these, oh, and I have the shade cloth tacked down like this let me tell you, I've already tripped and fell on over it twice. Look at these cucumbers though. The plants are amazing. I don't see any flowers yet. I don't know anything about the whole growing of the cukes. So, yeah. But they look good. Look at them. I can see them. Look at them. They're amazing. Look at my one okra plant. It's getting nice and big. But then my peppers I don't know what I did this one I left on there too long because I thought it was going to get bigger but it's a little tiny and now he's like a little soft right there right here see see yeah. but I don't know look at the, that's a basil that I transplanted because the tomatoes were crowding it out and then so it's got to be this bed is lacking something. I think I need to get some um, nitrogen in here, or maybe it's holding on to too much water. I watered yesterday, so I don't know. But it's like, I don't understand what's going on with these peppers. It's very sad. I really want, because I got uh, poblanos. I want poblanos. What you got? I got a bell coming in there. I got a jalapeno coming in there. Oh, and but the peppers, it's like they look a little like, like this is supposed to be a poblano, but I don't know. He looks a little funky. He looks a little funky. But yeah, so my pepper plants aren't doing so well. And um, I 
harvested all my potatoes. I didn't get that much. I got between three to five pounds of my tomatoes. Look at that squash plant. So I got about three to five pounds of my potatoes that I harvested, but I don't understand. I think this is happening with my strawberry barrel too. And I know it's happening with my um, echinacea uh, flower pot. The, um, the soil is getting really compacted and I don't know why and I don't know how to fix it once plants are in there. So I didn't get a lot of potatoes because obviously potatoes need loose soil to grow in so they didn't have that. And um, so I need to try and fix this, the compaction of the soil. I don't know how you do that if there's, I need to look that up. But yeah, so that's what I gotta do. So I probably am gonna go and I have to look up. I think I can uh, start some new eggplants for the fall and I'm gonna do that. And then if, if not, I might, even so, I might go over to Lowe's or Home Depot and buy some starts just to put in there so I'll have some eggplant and maybe a few pepper starts. I don't know. I do have a lot of tomatoes though. Did you see all those? Did you try and get right in here so you can see all the tomatoes that are, whoops, finger over the lens. You can see all the tomatoes that are growing. Can you see that? The plethora of tomatoes in there. Unfortunately, I think they're all paste tomatoes. That's okay. I'm gonna try my hand at canning. Those are the cucumbers I really wanted really bad that are flowering. Because of the shade cloth, I don't know what's gonna happen. Those are the silver slicers. Um, when I plant my fall tomatoes out, I think I'm only gonna plant the Paul Robesons because I really want some slicing tomatoes. I don't remember what these cucumbers were. I have a, a thing. Uh, I mean, I put steaks out. Problem, you know, that's for the old grinding. No, problem is, the sun bleaches everything out, so, you know, that a lot of good the steaks do. Oh no, that is for the okra. What is this? Did it, no, it's all bleached out. But I see no flowers. Like I say, I don't know how anything grows. I love it all. I love the way the little tendrils, they hold on, they grasp on to things. I love that. Like I said, my silver slicers, which are in here, I'm not getting enough sun, but they do have flowers. But because of this shade cloth, and the funny thing is, these ones started out really good. They were just like booming. I was like, yeah, well, I'm glad that these ones are going good because these are the ones I really want. And then these ones just took off. So, I don't know. So, yeah, I don't know. So, that's where I'm at right now. I do have... Oh, let me go show you that. Hold on one second. Okay, so this is my front yard. So, I've got over here. I planted some... Um, some zinnias, but we have feral cats, which I, we like to call the porch kitties, because the first time we ever saw them, they were underneath somebody's porch, and they like to come and uh, play and everything. They knocked it over and killed the ones that were in that one pot. That's my dahlias. They still haven't come up. Oh, no. That's my um, nasturtiums. They were blooming for a while my calendula. Why? That leaf, that leaf does not look good. Um, got some marigolds. Look at this. Oh. Calendula. That's a bean plant I just threw in there to see if anything will grow. Over here we got a pumpkin that looks like he wants to grow. Um, this is just, oh, I forget, snail, or is it snail? I 
I can't remember what it's called. I'll put it up on the screen. But that's just growing wild. Look at these sunflowers. I got two. I planted a whole bunch of sunflower seeds. And um, then they got messed about. Look, the, the head's starting. The head's starting. That's my little butterfly thing, bath thing, drinking water thing. But sunflowers are like, ooh. And then this is my pumpkin. I gotta check them for squash vine borer activity. Uh, I don't see any. I gotta get, I want him to go to. Is he hanging on to anything yet? I got you out here spraying with BT though. He's doing pretty well. I love these little, these little orange marigolds. Yeah, orange is my signature color, so. I threw this, this is the potato dirt that I had the potatoes in, and I threw it out here. Look at this calendula though. Even though he's on his last legs, he's so pretty. The problem is, I can't keep ahead of this crabgrass. And at the same time, it's growing prolifically in here. But out here, I've got all this weeds that I do not know how to take care of. But anyway, so this is the dirt that I had um, the potatoes in. Oh, excuse my ADD. Let me show you this. Woo, look at this tree. It's blooming. It's a chase tree. And then I have this tree over here. This is supposed to be a uh, poplar. Oh, look at the wild daisies. This is supposed to be a poplar, but I think it's dead. <laughs> it's a stick. But the thing is, is like way down in here, this leaf is growing from the tree for frick's sake. And so I don't want it. So it's not dead dead. It's just not. That leaf right there is growing from the tree. So I don't I don't know. Anyway, see, that's dead grass. That's ridiculous. And it's these sticker weeds that are horrible. My dog comes out here and his paws get full of them. Anyway, so this is the uh, soil that was in the potatoes. And I'm like, you know what? Instead of using it, I'm just going to stick it out here where a lot of this dead crunchy sticker grass. See? I'm not a real potato. Crunchy sticker grasses and hopefully it'll kill some of that grass. But these are my zinnias. This one's doing okay. But because, the, as you can see, there's a soil that did not this pot over. So I'll, I'll just, I was able to save the zinnias so they're all over here. They killed this zinnia. They were sitting in this pot last night. So none of those zinnias grew. Where are you guys? So if you look under there, there's one of them. Anyway, it's been a lot of rambling, but I thought I would show you what the garden looks like today. And here I got and I'll give you one last look. We got the composting bin, a little bit of green grass, peppers and cucumbers, tomatoes under the shade cloth, some squash. And that's what the garden looks, looks like today. If you've made it this far, I appreciate you watching this video. Once again, I'm Teresa. The name of my channel is Chaos Walking. And um, thank you for watching and sticking with me. I would love it if you would subscribe and like this video because I'm hoping to uh, make this my job so that in my what are they, what are they oh my golden years I don't have to go to work I can enjoy a retirement type job you know what I mean thanks for watching bye